Hello everyone, I'm Yu Chen. It's a great honor to share our paper, a symptotically unbiased estimation for delayed feedback modeling via label correction. I will elaborate our work from four aspects. Background related work, our approach diffuse and by diffuse and experiments. In our paper, we discuss about the problem of delayed feedback modeling in streaming learning scenario. Streaming learning, which continuously fine tunes the model according to real time feedback, has shown promising performance in many CTR prediction tasks. However, as shown in Table 1, the conversion delay for many samples are longer than 30 minutes in real life. Due to such a pervasively delayed feedback, it's not trivial to achieve better results while streaming learning for severe prediction. Due to the delayed feedback problem, the labels of some samples will be inaccurate. Here, we first give two basic concepts. Attribution window, WA, and observation window, WO, they respectively denote how long does it take to determine actual label and observe the label after the click time. Typically, in order to ensure label accuracy, the attribution window is generally wrong according to different business scenarios. Moreover, to balance the trade-off between simple freshness and label accuracy, mainstream solutions consider introducing a shorter observation window, such as 30 minutes. As the newly introduced WO causes the observed distribution biased from the real distribution, many approaches are proposed to correct such a deviation. In general, the introduction of WO increased the complexity of prediction task. As shown in this figure, different from traditional CVM model only considering positive and negative samples, samples can be divided into four categories in the delayed feedback modeling. IP is the immediate positive sample, which convert uh, within WO. R is the real negative sample, and the sample convert after WO but before WA, which should have been used as delayed positive sample DP, but firstly treated as a fake negative FN during streaming learning. After introducing the WO, there are many two kinds of approaches. The first time is directly modeling based on the observed distribution. This kind of method introduced an um, auxiliary delayed model and jointly optimized CVR model and delayed model. The main difference between these methods lies in the different assumptions of delayed distribution. The biggest drawback of such methods is that they haven't fully utilized the sparse positive feedbacks. In order to make full use of each positive sample, the other approaches employ sample duplication mechanism to partially reuse samples with actual label during training. The main difference of existing methods lies in the design of dupe mechanism. More specifically, the differences between dupe mechanism lies in the settings of WO, WA, and the choice of duplicated samples. After applying different dupe mechanisms, since the observed distribution is biased from the real distribution, the above methods employ the importance sampling to rewrite the original loss function based on the real distribution P into the form based on the observed distribution Q as follows. More specifically, when calculating the loss of each sample in the observed distribution, an importance weight W is introduced to model the relationship between the two distribution. At present, the importance sampling used in mainstream solutions is shown in formula 428. Due to the difference of dupe mechanism, these methods calculate the weight in formula 8 where different weight. Hence, derive different loss functions. Therefore, the difference of existing methods can be attributed to the difference of dupe mechanisms. However, the issue is that there are problems with the commonly used derivation. 
Specifically, there are two main problems. The first one is that the derivation of formula 6 to 7 assumes that the marginal distribution of x is consistent in P and Q. However, it can be seen from this figure. Due to the reuse of samples, the marginal distribution of x is completely different in the ground truth distribution P and observed distribution Q. The second problem is that when calculating the importance weight, this method this assumes that the observed label and actual label are equal. However, it can be seen from this table. For samples such as Fn, the observed label is inconsistent with the actual label. But existing methods ignore this point and falsely, falsely treat Fn as Rn in equation 8, leading to suboptimal performance and biased CVR prediction. A more rigorous relationship between them should be as the form shown as shown in equation 12. The main problem of our diffuse lies in the correction and optimization of the derivation pro process of important sampling. The above equation 13 gives the original unbiased loss. Since both the observed label V and the real label Y are discrete, we can rewrite it to obtain the equation 14 according to the four sample categories. We can see that there are two main differences between diffuse and other methods. One is that uh, we remove the equal assumption of marginal distribution between P and Q. The, second, the other is that uh, we notice that there are differences between the observed label and the real label and integrate such difference into modeling. More specifically, we correct the importance weight for each sample type and calculate the co corresponding constraints to gain the unbiased loss. In addition, since we can't distinguish whether the observed negative sample is F or R, we introduced an auxiliary model Zx to calculate the probability of an observed negative to be fake negative. According to its definition, we naturally have following two implement. In most cases, the first one achieves better performance. Although theoretically unbiased, a potential drawback of our diffuse is that the estimation of importance with W, hidden model Zx, and especially the multiply, uh, and the multiplicative terms may cause high variance. This typically implies slow convergence and leads to suboptimal performance, especially when the feedback is sparse. As such, we built a practical learning framework by diffuse that can fully exploit samples from the observed distribution directly. Recall that we divide the samples into four types. The IP and DP denote the immediate conversion and the delayed conversion, respectively. We start to adopt a multitask learning framework to jointly optimize following subtasks in window model to predict the IP probability and the out window model to predict the DP probability. By doing so, we divide CVR prediction into an unbiased in-window prediction and an importance sampling-based out-window prediction task. Please know that the samples used in IP task are no duplicate and the labels are correct, so the model can be directly trained on the ground truth distribution without bias. Only the DP task needs to be correct, corrected using diffuse, thus the high variance can be effectively reduced. Next, we conduct extensive experiments on both public, critical, and industrial Taobao 
datasets to demonstrate the performance of our diffuse and bi diffuse by comparing them with other state of the art baselines. Firstly, we can see our diffuse and bi diffuse have achieved top one or top two performance in almost all cases. And bi diffuse shows the best performance among the datasets with small attribution window. In addition, ESDFM and DEFER perform better than FNC and FNW, which can be attributed to the loop mechanism with a properly tuned WO. Next, we evaluate whether diffuse can be effectively applied to different types of duplication mechanisms. As mentioned above, Different dupe mechanisms only affect the expression of the relationship between P and Q. Therefore, our optimization of IS is naturally applicable to all dupe mechanisms. It can be seen that under the three commonly used duplication mechanisms, the effect of the version optimized by diffuse is stable and always better than that of the, or the original methods. This verifies the effectiveness of diffuse on IS optimization. Ablation studies are also conducted to investigate the regionality and effectiveness of our designs. First, in diffuse, we introduced the latent variable Z to help us distinguish between Fn and Rn we evaluate the inference of the two different Z. We can see that the performance of Z1 is always better than that of Z2. This indicates that the form of Z1 is more stable as it can avoid additional variance compared with Z2. And the performance of Z1 is close to Z oracle on critical one day, which reflects it's easier to change a delayed model under small attribution window. For the ablation study of by diffuse, we introduced two control experiments. One is to replace MMOE with MLP marked without IO gate. One is to use two completely independent models to model the conversion inside and outside the window, which is marked as in. It can be seen that the blue one is always better than the red one, which verifies the effectiveness of FMOE structure. Although in the achieves the best improvements, it's impractical in industry using twice parameters and calculation. Another observation is by diffuse achieves similar performance to the best int under, uh, under small attribution window. Since the Dominant IP samples are unbiased, and our by diffuse make full use of them. Now let's see the inference of different attribution windows. The performance of that by diffuse may degrade with long WA. Results reported in this figure shows that by diffuse achieves better performance with smaller WA. Since since smaller WA not only makes the unbiased prediction of IP more important, but also implies smaller challenges to estimate ZX and predict DP, which greatly amplifies the advantages of by diffuse. We also applied by diffuse in our online scenario and observed a steady performance improvement in terms of CVR. All right, in conclusion, in our work, we emphasize the importance of dividing observed sample in a more granular manner, which is crucial for accurate importance sampling modeling. Specifically, we propose the um, unbiased importance sampling method in diffuse with two-step optimization to address the delayed feedback issue. Moreover, we implement a uh, practical modeling framework by diffuse to fully exploit immediate positives during streaming learning. That's all. Thank you for your attention.